Nally was a sixth grader. She had left a note on the door for me. I got home and the note said, Mom, there's a lump in my neck. Mom, just go, geez. When I was 11, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. It was a shock. <laughs> it, it was. It was an incredibly difficult time for our entire family. And um, I had a very close friend of mine that I had went through treatment with. They would get you know excited when they would see each other and just laugh. And as soon as her life ended, I realized that it was definitely what I was going to do. And from then on, never, never changed my mind. Natalie M. Walk. I guess through that whole experience decided that I wanted to be a physician, much like my physicians were for me and how much they gave back to me. That was something that I wanted to do. When I first started getting treated, I had no idea that cancer was what it was. All right, look at that. How my nurses interact with me and the doctors and seeing the other patients and the successes and the failures that cancer has to offer uh, just made me realize that it was an important part of life that I wanted to experience on being on the other side. When I was a third year and I was put in the clinical wards and I was working side by side with the same physician that treated me um, and talking about kids that had the same disease as I did and the different chemos they use now, it was strange, rewarding, all those things. EVMS is a great school and, and when she would call and talk about the experiences, the professors, the, the hands-on that they got to do at EVMS that at other med schools she might not have, have received really got her excited and kept her engaged. We met on the very first day of medical school. Yeah, so we were actually walking through the library and he came up to me and he said, hi, I'm Brett. And he walks right up to me and um, ever since then we just kind of talked, hang out. We started dating in November of that year. You're a team. In order to get to the finish line, you have to do it together. And since then it's been a fairy tale. She's way smarter than me. <laughs> Generally that day is a day when I really sit back and think like, wow, this day 15 years ago was the last time that I had chemotherapy drugs put in me, which is a big moment and a, a big thing to reflect on. There were times where we wondered if she would even, even be here to, to achieve a dream like that.